In an era when the voices of African Americans were rarely heard, Mary Ann Shad Carey spoke out to champion the cause of freedom. Mary Ann was born in Wilmington, Delaware in 1823 to parents who helped enslaved people escape in the secret network called the Underground Railroad. From a young age, she was a supporter of the anti-slavery movement, but she was frustrated at the lack of progress made by its leaders. In her 20s, Mary Ann wrote a letter to American abolitionist Frederick Douglass, stating that to improve the lives of Black Americans, we should do more and talk less. Douglas published the letter in his prominent anti-slavery newspaper, The North Star. In 1850, Congress passed the Fugitive Slave Act, making it illegal to help someone who had escaped from slavery. The law also made it easier for slave catchers to capture free Black Americans and sell them into slavery. As free Black Americans and supporters of the Underground Railroad, Marianne and her family feared for their safety. So they moved to Ontario, Canada, but Mary Ann did not give up her activism. In 1853, she founded Canada's first anti-slavery newspaper, The Provincial Freeman. She advocated for full legal, economic, and social equality for Black Americans, and smuggled her paper into the United States to spread her message. She also encouraged other Black Americans to leave for their own safety. This was a controversial position in the abolitionist movement and made Mary Ann an outlier among her peers. With the outbreak of the Civil War, Mary Ann moved back to the U.S. and worked as a recruiting officer, enlisting black soldiers and helping to secure a victory for the Union. After the Civil War ended, she advocated for the rights of African Americans and marginalized groups for the rest of her life. Mary Ann Shad Carey exemplified the critical role black women played in the fight for freedom and equality. What do you think we should do more and talk less about today? <laughs>